lot of people ask me, what does it mean? It used to be a shop ages ago in Pimlico called Cornucopia, and I loved it. It just had so much bric a brac second hand yeah, stuff like in there. A bit of this, a bit, a bit of, that. of that. Yeah, it's gone yeah. now. And I thought, okay, well, I'm trying to do something similar, and why don't I just add the creative bit onto it? It's not just fashion. Yeah, it's a bit of everything. A bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And how, you know, I just want to ask you, you know, as a woman, mm-hmm. you know, how do you feel you've been received? In the industry as well. I mean, you mean the fashion industry? The fashion industry. In the beginning, it was interesting because as a black female, um, it's really strange. When I was at um, working with the British Fashion Council, I realized there was only black female in the building. Wow. And um, I used to, at the beginning, I used to think, okay, this is a bit weird. Mm. You know, you meet people and they're like, oh, you know that yeah, over down the nose, yeah. Oh. Hey. Hmm. You're black, but I don't, it, it doesn't matter anymore yes. now. A lot of people sort of say, "Oh, you know, back in the day, um, they said that the industry was racist." Mm. It's changing, changing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, you know, I worked on an event called Culture to Couture for a couple of years, which was uh, Mayor of London Ken Livingston at the Times initiative to help showcase black and African and um, Caribbean designers. It was a wonderful initiative, uh-huh. and you know, we use different types of models and what have you but I think now the industry's changed it's not so much about your colour now it's about if you're talented and really. what you're doing yeah exactly. yeah I just kind of think you know you have to kind of look around a little more if you look at some of the adverts like mm. Uniqlo mm-hmm. River Island Top yep. Top they're all using different types of models now yep. as well so we are kind of being represented it's not just fair skin people what's wonderful as well what I'm seeing is it's not just black you know a black girl mm-hmm. you're seeing Asian girls oh, yes Orient, uh, Chinese girls, yeah. Japanese models. You're seeing all across different types across the board. And mm. that, to me, is really diverse. So it, it is to changing. Be, it is The industry is changing. Mm. And I think, you know, um, I don't know if I want to say this, but mm. funding, government funding kind of says that, you know, you have to have a certain quota of people. Right. You know, we call it diversity. The Americans call it... Um, um, what's the word? Oh, God. Um... Oh, I forgot what yeah, the term it's is. Yeah, it's gone um, now. Oh, my goodness, it's gone now. It'll come to oh, us. Oh, gosh, that's the I head. know. It'll Not come to us. Oh. Affirmative action. That's the one. There that's you go. One. Yeah. One of the things I like just got your head. I you. know. So irritating. strange. But we got there. But but this is the thing. I mean, you know, you can make it work for you. That's right. I, you know? I mean, I, did, I, I didn't let it phase me. I thought at first it was a bit odd, and then I just, mm. I just milked it. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, Be okay. the novelty, you know. I love Take advantage it. of being the novelty. I loved it. it you know, it's got... I wouldn't say it's got me places, but I just just worked hard. Yeah, just did you know the things that I needed to do, and I enjoyed it, and I haven't looked back. I haven't looked back. Wonderful experience. Yeah, wonderful. It seems that. I mean, what kind of advice would you give to sort of young creatives, especially mm-hmm. that are out there and might be listening in and thinking, oh, you know, I it's, like the sound of what she's done. How can I kind of? It's hard get work. Into that? It's hard work networking. There are a lot of fake people. You've got to try and keep yourself real. Um, just sort of just keep trying you know have try and have good people around you you know yeah. listen to your family and your friends when they're talking to you and you know things like keep that keep yourself grounded it is it's really important to keep yourself grounded don't kind of you know throw your toys out of the pram yeah. and, you know, so things. easy to do though isn't it, it is you know when you look at the industry I, I watch it and I kind of think wow you know I look at some people and yeah. I'm like oh my goodness okay don't want to be like that no yeah. and it's, it's not going to help you really and it, you know, as they say it's, it's nice to be important but it's also important to be nice of course and I think that is probably one of the most important lines mm. that anyone could carry with them especially if you're about to embark on a business because mm. people will remember you if you're yeah, not nice. They will put do. it that way. Exactly. Yeah. So kind of keep it. Well, I don't know, but yeah, keep it real. You know, just yeah, be yourself, and um, you do need to be confident. Yeah, you do. You know. So if you're not confident, it will come. Mm. The confidence will come. You'll see. It'll just come from. You know. You just have to go up and talk to people. And networking is. I can't stress it enough. Networking is very, very key. Very important. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, I completely agree. I think in any in any sort of area, networking is key. Mm. But I, you know, I, I keep stressing about you know this whole confidence thing because someone like myself is confident. Someone like you is clearly confident. Mm. But there are so many. I people never out used there. to be. Really? I never used to be. I was very. I was painfully shy. Very shy. As a youngster, I was painfully shy. I wasn't confident at all. So how did you overcome that? I think just in over the years, I just decided. Yeah. You know what? Tell with if I need to just get, start get with it. Yeah, get with yeah. it. Just start being a little bit more and get out there and you know do the things. I need to do and you know go up and talk to people yeah. and it is hard I'm not going to you know mm. it's hard I, I think at one point my <laughs> one of my bosses son had just chucked me in at the deep and said mm. right go over and talk to him you need to get his details and it was like oh, you sort of go and over you there just like do it. you just have to do it mm. but also joining um, 
not social network as such, but actual network. I'm part of a network called Kovazia Future 500, which called is called what? Sorry, the Kovazia Future 500. Okay, yeah, well, that? Kovazia, the drink, yeah, the cognac. Mm-hmm. They have this network which they let people in to every year. I've been one of the found, not found, one of the first members from 2007. Okay. And every year they have like 500 entrepreneurs and we get together and we network and we exchange okay. details and we work on different projects together. It's wonderful, it's fantastic, wonderful. especially when they have their parties. Yeah, I can imagine. What Cavorsi yeah. on tap? Well, the last one I missed, just before Christmas, they had a swimming pool filled with Cavorsi. Wow. And people were in a little boat. Just going around dipping in yeah. their glasses. <laughs> That's Mad. crazy. There's another one I'm going to tomorrow. Okay. Which I am looking forward to, but... Yeah, I've, I bet you are. Well, I've given up alcohol for Lent, so okay. it's going to be difficult. So after oh. Lent, you're going to be like, okay, time yes. to catch up, catch up. <laughs> but, it's, but the key thing about that is going and networking with people. Yeah. There's some wonderful people there. The last time I went there, I met this woman who was a, a, a woman who was a, a scientist. Okay. And, um, you know, just meet some wonderful people. Yeah. You know? They're out there. And this is the thing, you know, there's so many, as you said, talented and, you know, inspirational and motivational but it's just finding them mm. and, you know being able to connect with them and then you know you can kind of find your place when you you sort of wait not necessarily weigh yourself up but in a way compare and see mm. okay well if this person's got that and they're doing this and you know, I can do this, so you maybe can I do. can and do not that. Only that you know? When you network with people as well, they might be able to help you do something yes. or put you in touch with somebody else. That's how it works. It's a bit of guidance. Exactly. Definitely. They might be able to, you know, one of the best ones is definitely, if you know, if it's to do with fashion and modelling and things oh. like that, you, you you know, you do each other favours. So, yes. for example, the photographer may provide all the uh, photographs and the lights and all that. And then the makeup artist may want some photographs from it and she'll get photos. The models will want pictures as well. So you work together as a team. Yeah. Got someone on here screaming affirmative action. We've gone past that bit now. <laughs> You're a bit late there, mate. Thanks all Thank the same. <laughs> wow. Jennifer, time is running away. I just yeah. want you to let people know what you've got lined up in the future. My goodness. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so next Two minutes. Week, you've got two minutes. Right, quickly. Next week, uh, working on a project with Feet about the new uh, Westfield Shopping Centre, which okay. is going to be in Stratford City, the gateway to the Olympics. Wow. And we have an event next Sweet. If you look on um, uh, ooh, www.urbaninclusion.co.uk, there is some information there about um, if you want to come part of a pop-up shop or if you want to try and get a kiosk within the new Westfield um, shopping centre. So you can come along to that. Um, I'm working with an organisation called Afford, which is helping people in the diaspora back over to Ghana to help them set up business. Wow, amazing. Um, what else? I'm teaching at London College of Fashion, setting up a new online uh, course, which is new. I will also be teaching at Central St. Martins. Um, ooh. A lot. A lot. Wow, Jennifer, that is a lot. Seems like you've got your, your, your bag full, your, your glass full, your oh, cup full. Oh, more pop-up full. shops. How could I forget that? Another Have one. you got more pop-up shops? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I can't say where it's going to be yet. Right. Um, but check on the blog site um, and then you can see where the next one's going to be. Just and what's keep the blog following site? Us. It is www.creativecornucopia.co.uk And we're spelling cornucopia for people that don't know. Oh, I'll spell it. It's C O R N. C U O P I A. Brilliant. And of course, details of the current Creative Cornucopia, where is it situated? It is at 97 to 99 Clerkenwell Road, Hatton Garden, London, EC1R 5BX. I strongly recommend people to get down there and just, I mean, just have a browse. Yeah. You know, you never know, you might come across something. Come in, something. taste some chocolates or, you know, but really want the chocolate as well. Yes, yeah, so if you come on Friday, we're having a, a late night drinks evening okay. from 6 till 10. If you come down, you might be able to sample some fantastic Not if chocolate. they get there after me, they won't. <laughs> I'll you tell you, I'll be there in my bag. I'll be like, right. <laughs> they do go quickly. Yeah, so I can imagine. You've got, to come, you've got to come early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. And just find